me. Show the next show, yeah. the next day, the next day. Yeah. Nothing so concentrated as that the rest of the year. And it's 
is really great to like, you know, once you sort of like grow accustomed to and accept the like completely over the top chaotic nature of what's happening, it is really amazing that there are all of these people from all over in this one place, both in terms of seeing people that you know from all over the country and from touring and everything, and for meeting new people that you know that you have you know wanted to meet or whatever. You know that that is totally. it's pretty special. Yeah, it's an it's amazing, amazing, awesome experience. It's especially nice when we're on longer tours that we're like, oh, so glad you like our set. Do you want to see us again when we're in your city in two weeks? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. Like, and we have bands. Lots, there's lots of you know bands that we discover when we're here, or who we've been like, you know, crossing paths with along the way, and now we really get a minute to play together and talk. Yeah. What are some bands that that you never heard that you've seen either this time or some that you remember from the previous ones that you've really followed? I, I really loved Agent Ribbons just yesterday yeah, yeah, from yeah, Austin, yeah. and we've sort of like, we've emailed in the past and we've known of each other for the past few years, but we've never gone to Coe Hill, and so it was really nice to play and then get to hang out with them, and I just, maybe they'll see this and not know what I'm talking about, but I feel like we're going to be fast friends, so yeah. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, I mean, I, it's been a treat to sort of be here and like stumble upon a band I wanted to see last year. I like stumbled into, you know, we stumbled into a wild black show, and that was cool because I had heard them live, and um, I, you know, I got to see Tao oh, yeah. and get down, stay down, and it was, you know, it's like people who I wouldn't necessarily have the time or wherewithal or like make the time to yeah. see when I'm in New York and super busy. It's nice to be like, oh hey, there's a musician that I really like, or or a peer band that I really like, and I never get to like just sit and listen. So there's something cool about that too. Yeah. Another question I had was, um, I've read, you know, like some of many of your songs have political meaning, and others have like love, and it's kind of all across the board. Like, do you love and political meaning go together? Yeah. Politics. Um, but like, is, is it a group effort who's, who's writing like pieces or the lyrics or like what? What are those influences to cross so many, you know, genre, not genres but topics? It happens. It happens different ways, different times. Um, I mean, Louisa as the lead singer, you know, does a lot of the principal songwriting, but we also will, um, I mean, there's a very large amount of collaboration that happens when we write um, music for sure, but also lyrically, like, we'll, we'll all pitch in or we'll talk but about, we'll an, also idea talk about an idea and a feeling that we're going yeah. for. Because when, you know, we collaborate really highly on the music, like you said, always. It's totally like a collective, but in order to do that, we have to have these conversations about what is the feeling of this sentiment and how are we going to cut away yeah. that music. Yeah. And that often means like hours of talking about freedom and justice and, and uh, about thesaurus.com. Like. Oh, that's, uh, I can't run it. We're being with that. Right now. <laughs> Like even you know like strife in life. <laughs> I think there um, there's you know. We've, we've had these conversations that I, I think really helped sort of shift or shape my like idea of songwriting about like, you know, every song doesn't need to capture everything. It can capture one incredibly specific feeling or it's one so hard to incredibly specific event. Like it can be a very small snapshot of something. It doesn't have to be everything. You can write another song. And and that's so, thing. Right. Because right. you can write another song about another thing, you know, and so, you know, sometimes it'll just be like, you know, driving back to New York from a show and we're talking in the band about something and you know we'll just be like could this be a song somehow like we're act I actually think what we're talking about is interesting is there a way to turn that into a song you know like what what would that song be if we wrote a song about how pissed off we are about yeah. this or that you know like oh well, that's really cool it's great to not like it's be a collective effort but then you have to be able to think of a, a cool topic or something that's intriguing to you as a group and then work from that point that's right is there anything in the works like for, for upcoming? I know, I mean, 2009 wasn't long ago, but we're <laughs> done. You have one new song already. We have a few. Yes. Yes. That I, heard, I heard one new song yesterday. <laughs> yes, we played it. I love that one. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I'm a huge watcher fan. But. I, I'm also a fan. It was more <laughs> just that it's not like. This song is called Dr. Manhattan for the viewers, um, and I was trying to explain that it's not only an insider reference for yeah. people who like graphic novels, it's it's about the archetype that that graphic novel portrays, yeah. and I think anybody can probably relate Which to I it. I like that, yeah, I mean, that's what that character and, and everything, just in general, again, going back to your music and having it can be so much behind it in terms of topics and politics and love and, and everything. Reference I mean, points. Yeah, the reference points in that fictional character. Yeah, it's cool to bring like the fictional pop culture yeah. references that we know into our yeah. stuff. Um, we did just come out with a music video on Monday, um, so 
so that's not technically in the works, but we're so excited and what she tells about it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what's the, the, the track? It's called Give Me What You've Got. It's off Switch Lights. Um, and uh, we have, yeah, we have a bunch of new material in the works. Um, we were sort of in intense songwriting mode when we left for tour, um, and we're excited to go back in the summer and start yeah. working on stuff. And definitely so going to be in that soon, but yeah. we don't want to commit. We don't want to say anything yet yeah. about release time, but definitely, you know, yeah. another yeah. album will come. Yeah. 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 Another yeah. album will come. And, and of course, we're touring yeah. Europe. Yeah. 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 For the so, first time. So. Awesome. No yeah. details yeah. yet on that, but it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. And it's really nice to be touring this time with new material, but not with a new album, and to get to like play play new songs for audiences, some that we've seen before and some totally new audiences and like, you know, kind of bounce the material on people and see how it is often when you're so touring. Like, we, we play shows closer to New York, you know, mm -hmm. on a pretty ongoing basis. Um, so, it's rare that we record something without having played it in front of an audience, but we really um, are it's enjoying nice the opportunity to, yeah, yeah, to be like, fun. oh, you know, we're going to play this whole set of new things and see. And then have someone say, I liked the new song. That's like really yeah. rad. You know, it's it's hard, you know, because we as as musicians, like we like to play we, we like as Carrie was saying, we really like to play our new songs because we wanna understand them. And we like when we play things live we grow to understand them and that like and, and sort of have ownership over them in a way that's really important to us before we record an album. Um, but for for fans you wanna hear the songs you don't play. You know, and so it's nice to be able to um, have Searchlights be the songs that a lot of people saw us last tour already know and like, and yeah. so that we can play those songs on the new songs yeah. and, and not have to worry about it too much. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all about mixing it up. Yeah. A little yeah. hype here and there, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. blow it up, blow it up. Pretty fun. Was there anything else you guys want to add? I don't think so. Europe, stay tuned for fall Europe 2012, days. and everybody else, stay tuned for. And if more songs. James Eha is watching book um, sessions, to what we just us. did only moments ago. We just did yes. this really awesome thing with you where we recorded a couple of acoustic numbers, which is a Shonda's first, and it's a book sessions really awesome project. And it so. sounds amazing. So. <laughs> oh, stop. It's going to be exciting. So, look forward to that. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks and I hope everyone enjoys it. Go to the Shonda's. They have a huge tour all around the States, and they'll be in Europe. So, check these guys out. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys.